You can just keep banging away. You can just keep banging away, making one useless, mediocre, not gonna invent shit kid after another. You say that this is n not new. If we go back in history uh, to the late 1800s and the early 1900s, we have something called the American Eugenics Movement. But who at the time really misunderstood the science. Starting with some really basic concepts of genetics. With some... <laughs> no, I don't understand people like that. Of you may have learned early in genetics classes like Mendelian genetics, so the idea that traits are simply, you know, that there's two characteristics of a trait or two alleles for a trait and you inherit them just that simply and every trait from eye color to everything else just has two little alleles, except traits are incredibly complex. And they thought, so don't you realize after your third loser kid, you don't have the DNA to make somebody special? <laughs> Uh, and we can do th so through selective breeding by trying to encourage people who have what we think of as preferential traits to have children together. And we can, by doing so, get rid of some really undesirable traits, such as, and the ones they were really focused on, uh, or imbecility. That was a really popular one, which is we just had to get rid of these imbeciles. And you can see this kind of um, you know, progression here, which is different characterizations of imbecility that we just have to get rid of. And you might think this sounds crazy, and it does to us today, which is one of the... It would be a good thing to bring that here, you know? Just to kind of thin out the traffic a little bit, right? <laughs> Why don't they ever just let it burn through one time? Why do we always gotta, like, jump on it? You ever had one of those selfish thoughts? Like, what if it was a bunch of people who died? Nobody you knew or loved, right? 